Did you know that girls typically have stronger memory skills than boys? Particularly when it comes to their ability to verbally remember things? Studies have indicated that females' brains contain more gray matter in regions associated with language and communication than boys' brains do. This finding may come as a surprise to some people. One example of the intriguing and complicated ways in which our brains evolve and function is illustrated by the anatomical variations between the brains of boys and girls. In this video, we will discuss 10 additional amazing facts about girls' brains and how they are different from males' brains. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 10. Girls' brains mature at a quicker rate than boys do. The rate at which girls' and boys' brains develop is one of the most significant distinctions that may be seen between the sexes' brains. According to a number of studies, the brains of females develop more rapidly than those of boys, particularly in parts of the brain that are associated with language and communication. For instance, girls usually start talking at a younger age than boys do, and they normally have more developed language skills than boys do at the same age. Number 9. The hemispheres of girls' brains are connected in more ways than those of boys. The way in which the two hemispheres of the brain connect with one another is another aspect of the brain that is different in girls and boys. Because girls' brains have more connections between the left and right hemispheres, they are able to process information more rapidly and effectively than boys' brains. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why girls are often better than boys at juggling multiple tasks at once. Number 8. Gray matter is more prevalent in girls' brains. The cell bodies of neurons can be found in the gray matter of the brain, which is a portion of the brain, specifically in regions of the brain that are connected to language and communication. Boys' brains have less gray matter than girls' brains. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why ladies are typically better than boys at tasks that require verbal communication. Number 7. The brains of boys have a greater amount of white matter. The portion of the brain known as the white matter contains the axons of neurons, which are the fibers that allow neurons to communicate with one another. White matter in boys' brains is often more developed than in girls' brains, particularly in regions that are associated with spatial awareness and movement. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why boys typically perform better than girls in activities like math and science that require spatial reasoning. Number 6. The corpus callosum in girls' brains tends to be larger. The corpus callosum is a collection of nerve fibers that serves the purpose of connecting the two hemispheres of the human brain. The corpus callosum in girls' brains is significantly larger than the one in males' brains, which enables increased communication between the brain's two hemispheres. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why women in general are better at juggling multiple tasks at once and have stronger language abilities. Number 5. Activity in the prefrontal cortex is greater in girls' brains than in boys. The region of the brain known as the prefrontal cortex is accountable for activities such as decision-making, the regulation of impulses, and planning. Research has indicated that girls' brains show more activity in the prefrontal cortex than boys' brains do, which suggests that girls may be more capable of completing activities of this nature than boys. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why girls are typically more diligent than guys and have higher self-control. Number 4. The amygdalae of boys' brains show significantly higher levels of activity. The area of the brain known as the amygdala is the region of the brain that is in charge of processing emotions, including fear and anger. Research has indicated that boys' brains show higher activity in the amygdala than girls' brains do, which suggests that boys may be more attuned to these feelings than girls. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why boys are often more aggressive and willing to take more risks than girls. Number 3. When compared to boys, girls are more likely to make use of both hemispheres of the brain. According to a number of studies, Girls are significantly more likely than boys to utilize both hemispheres of the brain when doing a job. It's possible that this is one of the reasons why women in general are better at juggling multiple tasks at once and have stronger language abilities. Number 2. The ability to identify one's feelings comes more naturally to women. According to a number of studies, women generally have a greater capacity than men do for accurately distinguishing both their own emotions and those of other people. This capability, which is sometimes referred to as emotional intelligence, is crucial for constructing and sustaining good relationships, 
and it is an important aspect of effective communication. There are a number of hypotheses that attempt to explain the possible advantages that women may have over men in terms of emotional intelligence. One idea proposes that beginning in early childhood, women are trained to be more in tune with their own emotions as well as the emotions of those around them. This socialization may be strengthened through the influence of the media, contacts with peers, and the dynamics of the family. As a consequence of this, it's possible that women are more equipped than men to perceive and decipher emotional signs like facial expressions and body language. When it comes to emotional intelligence, another school of thought suggests that women may have a biological advantage over men. According to a number of studies, the regions of the brain that are responsible for the processing and control of emotions, such as the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex, are more active in women than in men. Additionally, Hormones such as estrogen have been associated with improved emotional regulation and processing in women. It is essential to keep in mind, however, that the disparities in the levels of emotional intelligence possessed by men and women are not completely binary. When it comes to emotional intelligence, there is some degree of overlap between the capabilities of men and women. In addition, the individual experiences and contextual circumstances that a person is exposed to can also play a part in the development of emotional intelligence. In addition, while women may be better at recognizing emotions, men may be more adept in other areas such as spatial reasoning and problem solving. These disparities in cognitive ability are not related to a person's gender, but rather are the result of a complicated interaction between their genes, their environments, and their particular experiences. Number 1. Memory is typically more developed in girls than in boys. Studies have demonstrated over and again that ladies, on average, have superior memory skills to boys, particularly when it comes to their ability to verbally remember information. This indicates that girls are normally superior to boys when it comes to the ability to remember and retrieve words, sentences, and other forms of verbal information. The question is, why does this happen? One possible answer can be found in the fact that boys and girls have fundamentally different brain structures. The left hemisphere of the brain, which is responsible for language and communication, has more gray matter in girls' brains than it does in boys' brains, according to research. The cell bodies and synapses in the brain, which are responsible for the processing of information, are referred to collectively as gray matter. Because of this, it is possible that the brains of girls are better prepared to deal with verbal problems, such as the acquisition and comprehension of language, which are necessary for the development of good memory skills. In addition to this, it is possible that hormones play a part in the maturation of a person's memory skills. For instance, enhanced verbal memory skills have been connected to higher estrogen levels, which is a hormone that is typically prevalent in females. The hormone testosterone, which is more typically found in males, was the subject of a number of research, and those investigations came to the conclusion that testosterone may have a detrimental effect on verbal memory skills. It is possible that the hormonal differences between boys and girls contribute to the fact that girls typically have superior memory skills, particularly when it comes to their ability to verbally remember information. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.